what's going on guys it's g fit jake here back with another youtube video um yes i'm i'm still here i know um i just i don't know where to start here you're probably wondering where i've where i've been you know um a lot has happened since i posted my last two videos about rise of resistance now Ever since then, a lot has changed and a lot of events have occurred and I'm going to dive into all that. So on the positive side, as most of you know, yes, I went to Disney World. It was fantastic. I had a great time there. You saw some of my videos from Rise of Resistance. Uh, it's a fantastic ride. It was so much fun. It was an amazing trip. I'm so glad I went. Um... And then it just kind of went downhill from there. On the second to last day I was there, I started getting this weird feeling in my throat, like this tingling sensation. And I just kind of thought, oh, maybe it's just a cold, you know. You, 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 know, you know where I'm going with this, obviously. Um, and it just progressed. It got worse and worse and worse from there. And luckily, I am vaccinated, so... Um, Yes, obviously, I got COVID. I didn't. Um, and it just, it knocked me down really badly. Like, it's, it was bad. And to, this is advice to everyone out there. If you are not vaccinated, you need to go get vaccinated. Believe in science. It, I mean, this is a serious thing, COVID. It, I, you need to take it seriously. I'm not joking around. This thing will beat you up. I'm, it will, you will wind up in an ICU bed struggling for your life. I mean, imagine if I wasn't vaccinated, I would probably be 10 times worse. I mean, that's how serious this virus is. It's just, I cannot express it enough. And of course, I mean, I was in the heart of Florida and Disney and Florida's getting it, you know, the worst they're getting hit hard down there and i happen to get it which i'm not really surprised i mean i kind of saw it coming in a way um but after that it just knocked me down i mean i lost my taste and smell for like two weeks ish i mean my taste and smell are back which is really good that's good um i'm i still have a cough unfortunately so it's weird. Um, so it's it's confusing. This is gonna be confusing, but I'm gonna explain it here. So I'm free to go. I returns. I am um, back to school and all that stuff. I'm you know I'm gonna be going back to work. So it's weird. So I still have COVID, yes, um, but I'm not contagious, so I can't spread it to anybody. So there's only a certain time period where I can spread it from people. It's like two weeks or something like that. So that time period passed. So I can, I still have COVID, but I can't spread it to anybody. And it might even be passed. I'm not even sure if I, I think I still have it. I don't even know how long it lasts in your system for. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a few months or something. I don't even know. But it really knocked me down. And I just wanted to tell you guys that that's, was going on and I just had no energy. I, the coughing, no taste and smell, it beat me up really bad. And I just could not get myself, I had no energy. Like I was just wiped out. Like it beat me up big time. And I, I, just, I wanted to make a video, but for my health and for my safety and you know, your health always comes first. And I wanted to take care of my body and that's why I decided to take a break from YouTube. I hope you guys understand that. I'm sure you do. You know, your body, your health is the most important thing. That always comes first. But I want to tell you that I am, I'm okay. I am recovered. I'm doing so much better now. I just want to get this video out there so you guys know um, that it was it was a rough experience. And I'm, I, I still have a cough. But it's getting better. Every day is getting a little bit better. But on the flip side, on the positive side of that, 
as you can see in front of me, I have done a lot of work on the gunship, of course. It's almost done, almost near completion. Um, so I think my plan is, you're going to be seeing this video tomorrow, obviously. And then probably Friday, I think I'm, I'm Friday, I will have a review out for the Mandalorian Starfighter. I'm going to finish my Lego reviews up for the Summer Wave because I need to get those done. So you're going to see this tomorrow. Friday will be the Mandalorian Starfighter review. Next Wednesday, the next Wednesday after that will be the the Armors Mandalorian Forge, thirty dollar set. And then after that will be the UCF's Gunship review um, review of this set. And then a following week after that, um, so some pretty exciting news actually. I just got back into lego marvel um it's weird because i actually it's it's really weird and um honestly kind of confusing because you think wow why were you a marvel fan well it's weird because well i actually started first as a marvel fan which is really surprising because i'm a huge star wars fan but i went back and forth so if i was first a marvel fan and then i went back to and then i went to star wars then i went back to marvel and then I went back to Star Wars, and I've stuck with Star Wars ever since, and I've not gone back to Marvel. But ever since the release of the new CMF series, obviously, it's a, it's a huge deal. I mean, this CMF series is the biggest, probably the best CMF series we've ever gotten, you know. Um, and that kind of got me back into Marvel, and I just, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm just falling in love with Marvel again, and just... I, I still love Star Wars, don't get me wrong. I will always, Star Wars will be always number one. But Marvel, I'm getting back into it. I, I love it. It's awesome. You know, it's it's still really good. Um, But I collected some of the minifigures from the CMF series. I'm going to be doing a video on that. Um, Just a heads up. I did bring myself um to watching WandaVision. I just finished that. And I also just finished Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You're probably thinking, what the heck, why is, why have you waited this long? Well, I'm not a Marvel fan, really. I just got back into Marvel, you know. I, I pushed myself out of the boundary. and Like, come on, Jake, you just got to watch these series. And I sat down, and in one night, I, bin, I binged watch, you know, the whole Falcon Winter Soldier. WandaVision, I had to take a few days, but Falcon Winter Soldier, I literally just finished yesterday. I finished all the episodes. You're going to be seeing this on Monday, so obviously this will be not tomorrow not yesterday but it'll be it'll be saturday is what i'm trying to saturday is when i finished it and now i'm gonna move on to loki Oop, my bad but um the minifigures in the cmf series are the best i've ever seen and it's so sad that we can't get it that much love for star wars and i hope we do hopefully we'll get a, a star wars cmf really soon but I collected some of the Marvel minifigures that I really wanted. Um, I'll tell you right now, I got Wanda from WandaVision, the Scarlet Witch. She was one of my favorites. I got Falcon. He is spectacular. He's awesome. He is probably my favorite out of the series. I got Star-Lord T'Challa, which is from What If. I also got Agent Carter. She's from What If. Um, I also got Monica Rambeau from WandaVision. She's kind of the least exciting out of the CMF. And then I also bought online on eBay, I just bought Bucky Barnes from Winter Soldier because I wanted to get him. Um, I might collect the whole series, I'm not really sure, but those are the ones I really wanted, so I got those. But I'm going to be coming out with a video for those. And also the podcast is coming back. Don't worry, I'm going to be back with Captain Trucks doing more videos. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. This is G. Fetchik signing off. Peace. Have a good one. See you later, guys. Take care.